Hey, what happened to all the other fish? This guy's all alone. Dead. Wait. God damn it. Just give away the first down. Just like you do every time. Just give it away. Is this the same red-tailed shark that's always been there? You, you, the one that liked to chase the other fish? What was this? The red-tailed shark. Yeah, that, that, um, they, they, sh they shouldn't be uh, getting any bigger. Catch the ball. Yeah! Hey, you want a cupcake? There's one on the kitchen counter. The secretary from work brought him in uh, today. I, I brought one back for you. Uh, I think I'm okay. Looks cool though. Ah, Christ. That's all over. There's still a play left. Didn't they win last week on the last play? Oh, that was a crappy win for the Packers and a crappy loss for the Broncos. Ah! Good. Put him out of their misery. Oh, I don't think I could have watched another one of their games. It was a close Wait. Well, I'm not going to let it. It'd be easy, um, you know, to walk off the field after that game and say, I've had enough. Depression is a serious medical condition. It can take so much out of right, What was that? I feel like I have to um, myself up just to get I was just going to say it was a close game. Then, oh, that was a well, I have to keep crappy myself game. Up just to deal with the sadness, all the players, both of interest, teams, just penalty after penalty. Lack just of energy. It's all come down to rolling the dice. Just, just, just gambling on what the referees will notice. I'm telling you, you think the referees see everything that goes on in that field? No. No. God, there was nothing but shortcuts and cheating. That, that's, that's how the game's played these days. It's, it's the same thing I have to deal with at work. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be managing a project, and, and believe you me, some hot-headed jackass won't double-check his work. Then the whole project gets pushed back an entire month. Just because of some stupid mistake that should have been avoided. Then, you know, of course, the blame gets pushed onto me. They go on with their day and nothing on their conscience. Uh, hey, you know, uh, the rules don't apply to me. Uh, it's Marty's project, Marty's problem. And that, that's why I always say, optimistic people don't make good engineers. That's right. Remixed by Mark Dice, and I approve this message. Good engineers. Someone who worries, who can second guess himself. Are you mad at me? No. Well, it seems like you've been upset with me lately. I, you haven't been around here. Did I do something? Anything to bother you? No. You didn't do anything. I don't even know where you could get that in your head. You never want to stay the night anymore. I keep inviting you over and you always want to go back to mom's at the end of the night. You didn't even notice the fish. All the rest of them in the tank, they've been gone. They all died months ago because the other one just chased him to death. It was months ago. This is still your house. All my stuff is still at mom's. My face soap, my phone charger, my shampoo, all my clothes. Sheets on my bed, they're the cold ones. For summer, I didn't even change them. Well, we could get you that stuff. That wouldn't be hard. I'm sure there's some warm sheets in the closet somewhere. Although they might have dinosaurs on them. Okay, then I'll stay so nice here, it's fine. Now listen here, I've been wanting to talk to you about what's happened between mom and me because 
I know you've gotten her side of the story, and I, I haven't told you mine. Mom didn't say anything to make me not want to stay here. That's what you're wondering. No, I just want to clarify a few things. I still love Mom. Even if she doesn't love me. Even if all I am to her now are the five worst things I've ever said to her. I think you know it split us apart. Yeah. Money. I thought she was spending too much and she thought I was being too controlling. Although she ended up shopping away anyway, so I couldn't have been that controlling. Why are you even telling me this? This has nothing to do with me. Mom never said that you controlled her from shopping. She just didn't like that you got mad every time that she went because shopping. Because she went shopping all the time. It's a sickness. That's not a sickness. Shopping's not a sickness. Mom's not sick. Even if she was, why couldn't you just let her spend the money? You said you loved her so because much. Because I want to save up money for something that matters for once. You know, go on a vacation. Get a little boat. God damn it. I, I've wanted my entire life to get my teeth fixed. So maybe I could stop hiding my teeth behind my lips all the time. When was the last time you saw me smile? Not a closed smile, but, but a real, genuine smile. My teeth and everything. I shouldn't have to hoard up money my whole life just to be able to smile. Why don't you just smile anyway? Because no one likes a mouthful of crooked teeth. I remember when I was in Cub Scouts and there was this pumpkin carving competition. I don't know, all, all the other kids just had their parents draw like Batman on their pumpkin, but I had that idea to use stuff from the garden. I used like berries from the trees as the eyes and then I took stems and I stuck them into the eye sockets so that the eyes were actually suspended in the middle. I was really satisfied with that idea. And then I think we used grass as the hair and some small pepper as the nose. And then for the smile, we used broken bits of pea pod for the teeth. Everybody loved that pumpkin. Yeah. And won first place. <laughs>